Here we say the math problem. Okay, let's go to the question. The function f is defined by f of x equals to a times 2.2 to the power of x plus 2.2 to the power of b, where a and b are integer constants and 0 less than a less than b. The functions g and h are equivalent to function f, where k and m are constants. Which of the following equations displays the y coordinate of the y intercept of the graph of y equals to f of x in the xy plane as a constant or coefficient? Okay, in the given two equations over here, we have to check uh, which one displays the y coordinate of uh, the y intercept of the function f of x, either as a constant or coefficient. Okay, now to get the y coordinate of the y intercept for any function, what we have to do is we have to plug in x equals to 0. Okay, now in the given function, uh, let's replace this f of x by y because we have the information y equals to f of x. Then the given function will become y equals to a times uh, 2.2 uh, to the power of x plus 2, 2.2 to the power of b. Okay, now to get the y coordinate of the y intercept, we have to plug in x equals to 0. Then y equals to a times uh, 2.2 to the power of 0, positive or uh, 2.2 to the power of b. Okay, we get y equals to a times, uh, here the value of this one is uh, 1, because anything raised to the power of 0 equals to 1, uh, positive 2.2 to the power of uh, b. Okay, now uh, let's consider the other information we have on the question, that is uh, the functions z and h are equivalent to function f. So both the functions z of x and h of x are equivalent to the given function f of x. So now let's compare the function g of x and uh, the function f of x. Both of them are in the same format. So here we have a and here we have a. Inside the parenthesis, the first term is 2.2 to the power of x. Here also we have the same stuff. And here we have k and uh, here we have 2.2 to the power of b. So the place of k, we have 2.2 to the power of b. So that is uh, k equals to uh, 2.2 to the power of b. When I compare the functions g of x and f of x. Okay, now uh, we got that k equals to 2.2 to the power of b. So we can plug in this k for this uh, 2.2 to the, to the power of b. Then uh, we get y equals to a times uh, 1 uh, positive k. Okay, we can consider uh, this one as the y coordinate of the y-intercept of the function f of x. Or we can do some simplification. That is y equals to a times 1 is a and uh, a times k is uh, a k. Okay, now let's consider uh, again the same information. That is g and h are equivalent to function uh, f. Okay, since g and h are equivalent to function f, both the functions uh, g of x and h of x are equivalent. Okay, now let's uh, equate them. Uh, let me do it over here. That is uh, g of x and h of x are equal. Okay, for g of x, this is the stuff we have. That is a times so 2.2 to the power of x positive k equals to, for h of x, we have a times so 2.2 to the power of x positive m. Okay, now we can distribute this a to this one and this one, then we get a times uh, 2.2 to the power of x uh, positive, uh, a times k is uh, a k equals to a times 2.2 uh, to the power of x positive m. On both sides, I find a times uh, 2.2 to the power of x and the same we have over here. When I subtract uh, this one from both sides, uh, this one, this one will cancel out. The resulting equation is uh, a k equals to m. Okay, here I got that m equals to a k. So if I want, I can plug in uh, m for a k over here. Then uh, it will become y equals to a positive m. Okay, now uh, let's consider uh, the stuff h of x and the function f of x. Since uh, both g and h are equivalent to f, uh, we can equate uh, this uh, h of x to f of x. Okay, now let me do this uh, separately. That is um, g, uh, h of x equals to f of x. For h of x, we have uh, a times 2.2 uh, to, the, to the extra power uh, positive m and for f of x we have a times 2.2 to the extra power uh, positive 2.2 to the bth power. Okay, here a times 2.2 to the extra power positive m. Now we can distribute this a to this one and this one. Then we get a times 2.2 to the extra power positive a times 2.2 to the bth power. Okay, we find uh, this stuff on both sides of the equation. When I subtract uh, this one from both sides, so this one, this one will cancel out. I'm getting m equals to a times uh, 2.2 to the bth power. Okay, m equals to a times, already we got uh, the result k equals to 2.2 raised to the power of b. So for this one, we can plug in k, then we get m equals to uh, a k. So whatever result I got when I equate g of x and h of x, the same result I'm getting again over here. So here uh, let's consider the stuff. So we have uh, y equals to a times 1 plus 2k or y equals to a plus to a k 
or y equals to a positive m. Okay, so we can consider this one as a y coordinate of the y intercept of f of x or this one, uh, we can consider the y coordinate of the y intercept or this one also can be considered. But I don't find this one or this one or this one either as a constant or coefficient uh, in the given two equations over here. So the given two equations over here do not display the y coordinate of the y intercept of the graph of y equals to f of x as a constant or coefficient. So the correct answer choice is neither one nor two. So that is a D.